can speak for myself. I come from a, a, a business class family where uh, where everybody while I was growing up was very much against the idea of me becoming a business guy. When I went to IIT, everybody was relieved that okay, fine, uh, he'll he'll be able to get a good job. Uh, he'll be he'll be able to take care of himself. That was that. Nobody really ever thought that uh, I will become an entrepreneur. And and uh, and did my did me coming from a business class family really help in a lot of ways? Was it an impediment uh, to make me me becoming an entrepreneur? Certainly. So I think. Everybody has to navigate their own context and and have uh, and and for somebody to be an entrepreneur, just the deep desire to become one has to just be much much stronger than the context that you belong to. Uh, Swamya, my mom taught me how to make a good cup of chai when I was eight years old. I think I think my love for chai just started back then, and my love for not just drinking chai, my love for making chai. Uh, I was the designated chai maker of my family, and and I can, I think that kind of uh, was a subconscious uh, uh, subconscious thing that was sitting with me forever. I had my first entrepreneurial experience while I was at IIT, and that kind of made it very clear to me. That that I want to be an entrepreneur and nothing else. So uh, love for uh, love for making chai, uh, deep desire to be an entrepreneur. I think the two things came together, and thus Chaios was a result of it. Uh, we started our first store in 2012. Uh, we've just completed 10 years of Chaios. Uh, so yeah, thanks to a lot of our uh, a lot of our guests who come to us multiple times a day every day. <laughs> Failures are a part and parcel of being an entrepreneur. You take so many different calls every day. You take an you take a very large number of decisions on a on a on any given particular year. Not all of those decisions end up being right decisions. Uh, some decisions uh, out of gut can turn out to be very right. Some decisions purely out of data can turn out to be very wrong, or vice versa. I think. Uh, as an entrepreneur, you have to give yourself that that room for making errors. Uh, as a, as an entrepreneur, you have to give yourself room uh, to be able to learn from those errors and 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 continue to push forward. And something that I have seen happen with a lot of entrepreneurs, it is just that it is just the uh, the grandness of what we are trying to build. Which always has, uh, which always is such a big motivator that it allows you to get over a lot of those bumps that you encounter in uh, in the journey. Bumps can be failures. Bumps can be just just uh, wrong wrong uh, wrong decisions. Uh, bumps can be external context, uh, capital not being available. They can be they all 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 of them. They will come in different shapes and forms. Uh, but just the desire to keep on moving forward to be able to achieve that grand dream that you have, I think that that just that just takes care of most of it. I'm very confident that this country would have forgotten how to make a cup of chai. This 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 kind uh, people people would be five minutes walk away to a chaios or ten minutes delivery away for their chai from a chaios. To be able to build the contemporary chai culture of India, that's the big dream. That is, see, if you, if you, if you look at chai drinking behavior before chaios, it wasn't very different from the chai drinking behavior that our grandparents would have demonstrated. Now, when the, when the country has moved moved so much in 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 last few generations why has this behavior continued to be the same before chaios so so to be able to to be able to build that contemporary india's hungry india's new india's new chai culture that is what the 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 dream that motivates me day and night 
usual chai at Chayos is Adrak Tulsi chai, which has Kadak Patti and no sugar. So Adrak Tulsi Kadak, no sugar. That's my that's my regular order at a Chayos. That's the chai I drink uh, multiple times a day, every day. Chai has been winning uh, for 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 many 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 generations. Chai will continue to win for many generations. Just one data point for for you to note: when thirty cups of chais are consumed in this country, one cup of coffee is consumed. I think that one data uh, speaks for itself. And there is no state in the country, neither in north nor in south, that consumes more coffee than tea. Even the most coffee-consuming state consumes four cups of tea to one cup of coffee. So I think uh, there is no debate there.